The Scorpio N bridges the gap between the rough and rugged Tha and the more polished XUV700. But in borrowing traits from both, has the Big Daddy become a better buy than the flagship? An interesting question, and we've come up with nine answers. Starting with, of course, which one is the real Big Daddy? I'm talking about size here. So while the XUV700 is the flagship, the Scorpio N is actually wider and taller. But the XUV700 is actually longer. You know what, forget this. Here's a table, you see what the differences are, it's quite clear. Next, we have to state the obvious. The Scorpio N is priced below the XUV700, so it's logically more affordable. We just have the manual prices for the Scorpio N out now. So based to top manuals, petrol and diesel, the variance is similar in fashion, around about 1.5 lakhs of a difference. You could plan a child and book the XUV700 at the same time and have the XUV700 be delivered just in time for the child's first birthday. Such is the waiting time for the XUV700 right now. There is a chance if you manage to get your bookings in quickly that you could actually get a new Scorpio N before Christmas this year. Whereas an XUV700 book today will arrive no earlier than December 2023. Despite being a high-riding ladder frame SUV, it's almost a match to the XUV700 in terms of dynamics. Roll is controlled, the ride is comfortable, and highway stability is also leaps and bounds ahead of the Scorpio of old. The Scorpio, despite being cheaper, also gets some of the XUV's wow features. So there's a powered driver's seat, 12-speaker 3D Sony sound system, a sunroof, wireless charging, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto too. Where the XUV700 is only available with an all-wheel drive, which is great for slippery roads, mud or slush, you know it will keep you planted on the way to your farmhouse in the rains, the Scorpio N is equipped with a proper 4x4 drivetrain. Switchable low and high ratios, electronic and mechanical differentials and terrain modes means it's equipped to be as adventurous as you want it to be. The Scorpio N with its ladder frame and rugged suspension is clearly the happier car off-road. The XUV700 is better in the city and on the highway, but the differences are minor. Pick according to where you will spend most of your fun time. While the interiors of the XUV700 are more plush, the captain seat option on the Scorpio N make it the better choice for the chauffeur-driven owner. The XV700's bench second row in both the 5 and 7 seat configuration doesn't afford you this luxury. The Scorpio is not only dimensionally taller than the XV700, the seating position is a lot higher. The large upright windscreen, shorter dash and low window line make for greater visibility out of the driver's perch, giving you a commanding view over all the traffic you plan to muscle out of your way. Don't get us wrong. The XV700 is a lot of SUV. Over the Scorpio N, it does get a full-blown ADAS suite, including adaptive cruise, adaptive lane keep, auto emergency braking, to name just a few. There's a panoramic sunroof, larger, brighter, crisper touchscreen, more powerful engine tune, and more. And that concludes our nine pointers. Which one will you pick? Tell us in the comments, and of course, while you're there, like, subscribe, and share this video.